Hiya. I'm Jackie Hayam. I'm one of the staff nurses here on the medical assessment unit. Can I just check some details with you? What's your name, please? Kelly. It's Kelly Forsyth. Yeah, that's right. And your date of birth? It's 9th of the 9th, 78. OK. And I'm just checking your hospital number. OK. Is it all right if I call you, Kelly? Yeah, that's fine. Right, Kelly. You've been sent in here with, by a GP because you've not been feeling so well. Mm. We will need to investigate as to why you've not been feeling well. And part of those investigations um, includes a blood test. Right. All right. Now, what we propose to do is take some blood from you via a small needle, a procedure called venipuncture. We're going to take that blood from your arm and then we can send those samples off to the lab. OK. Yeah. Have you had blood taken before? No, and I'm a bit scared of needles. Right. Well, it's quite a, a simple, straightforward procedure. It is a little bit uncomfortable, but we'll take that needle away as soon as we've taken blood from you. Good. I'll be doing the procedure. Is that all right with you? Mm. I'm going to go away and get the equipment, and then I'll come back and we'll take that blood from you. All right. <laughs> Hi Kelly. Hiya. Um, I've come now to take that blood from you that we were talking about earlier. All right. Have you got any questions? No, I'm just a bit, bit frightened of needles, but I'll look away if that's all right. Of course it's all right. I'm going to get you in a comfortable position, OK? Mm -hmm. Now then, just before I start, do you have um, a side of your arm that you know you can't use? For example, um, if you've got um, any surgery onto your lymph nodes, any known infections, any fistulas or anything like that? No, nothing like that. Right, no. OK. I'm just going to check this arm, yeah. just so that I can see that the skin's nice and clear, that there's no um, cuts and scratches or, or any damage to that mm. skin. Mm. OK. Right. Just rest your arm on there for me with your palm upwards. That's right. I'm going to pop a tourniquet around your arm. It'll be quite tight. I'm just going to check for a vein. Cleaning your skin now, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that to dry now. Okay.
going to check that that's dry. I'm going to pop this tourniquet back on now. Mm -hmm. to insert this needle now into a vein mm -hmm. you'll feel a sharp little scratch And that's all done. Just pop pressure on there for me for okay. just one minute. Pop a little bit of tape on there. And if you just keep pressure on there for a couple of minutes until it stops bleeding, all yeah. right. And I'm going to send these bloods off to the lab now. And when we get the results, I'll let you know. Okay. Do you, you feel okay? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. It's one of the most common procedures you'll learn. We begin with the needle, vacutainer, and blood tubes. A blood pressure cuff can serve as a tourniquet to help you raise a good large vein in the antecubital fossa. Tying the tourniquet properly takes a little practice. The universal precautions for this procedure begin with gloves and careful cleansing of the skin with alcohol or betadine. Carefully remove the cap to unsheath the needle. Insert it into the yellow vacutainer and screw it into place. Then lift the needle guard and remove the cap. You'll see that the hole in the beveled edge of the needle is facing up and is in line with the needle guard. Take a shallow approach to the vein and the blood flashing back into the vacutainer confirms you're in. If you don't see the flashback, stop. In this example, we're drawing a couple of tubes for the lab. Gently oscillate the tube to mix the blood with the heparin or stabilizing agent in the tube. To switch tubes without causing the patient discomfort, you want to steady your hand against the arm. Then you can pop in the next tube without pushing the needle any deeper. And as we finish, one pull of the tourniquet, place the cotton ball above the puncture site, not directly on the needle. Withdraw the needle straight back and roll the cotton gently over the puncture, applying steady pressure. Having the patient bend at the elbow to hold the cotton in place can create unnecessary bruising. Flip the needle guard back into place, protect the puncture, and the sharp goes right into the container.